Bună ziua! My name is Adrian Zuckerman, and I am the United States Ambassador to Romania. This year, we celebrated the 140th anniversary year of diplomatic relations between the United States and Romania. The bilateral relationship has never been better. From two meetings between President Johannes and President Trump at the White House, to the leadership of Prime Minister Orban, the Romanian renaissance that started earlier this year is well underway. Romania is becoming a European leader in energy production, agriculture, computer technology, science, and industry. It has also become one of the closest United States military allies and a defense pillar of southeastern Europe and the Black Sea. Cluj and Bucharest have become European centers for information technology companies. Constanza is quickly becoming an energy production hub. Gas production companies are almost ready to start gas extraction and distribution from the Black Sea's biggest reserves to Romania and the rest of Europe. The Romanian government terminated the communist Chinese company, CGN, from its contract with Romania's Chernovoda nuclear facility. In its place, an American company with content from Romania, Canada, and France will refurbish one reactor and build two new ones. This $8 billion undertaking will more than double Romania's electricity production and provide almost 40% of the country's electricity demand. U.S. Exim Bank also recently just signed a $7 billion financing memorandum of understanding for this and potentially other projects. Recognizing Romania's crucial importance to Europe's defense, the United States and Romania recently signed a historic 10-year roadmap for defense cooperation. As a result, Romania has seen the delivery of many new weapon systems, such as various missile systems, including Patriot missiles, aircraft, high-tech vehicles, and radar systems. Most importantly, thousands of additional American troops will also be deployed to Romania on a rotational basis. There is currently pending 5G legislation, ensuring that Romania's telecommunication networks will be clean networks so as to prevent communist Chinese companies, such as Huawei, from having access to Romanian data and posing national security risks. Also pending is investment review legislation similar to our CFIUS, allowing Romanian authorities to keep malign foreign interests from buying Romanian companies. There have been other accomplishments this year, including mutual help in fighting COVID and much progress in eliminating the last vestiges of the communist system of corruption that ravaged this country previously. Romania is well on its way to achieving its great potential, becoming a stable, secure democracy in the region and model for all of Europe. So again, thank you for your support of what I believe to be one of the strongest and closest bilateral relationships in the world.